All right, so we built a, uh, a solar tracker. Obviously, you can see it's a, a solar panel. And the point of uh, this device is essentially you set it outside and it follows the sun's path all day long, no matter where the sun is. The goal in that is to obtain the highest voltage supply all day from the sun so that the, uh, the panels are maximum exposure all day. For the side-to-side -side motion, we have a bike hub with a fixed gear on it. Then we have a motor that has a derailleur from a bike hooked up to it. Then we have a chain linking those. So that will spin side to side. Then uh, for the up-down motion, we have a four bar with a servo mounted inside. So that just drives it up and down like this. We ran into some problems with uh, a moment in the system. So we ended up having to counterweight it. Um, the way it tracks the sun is we have a uh, series of four photoresistors in the front. Um, it compares, uh, we have a, a logic pick. It's just a PIC-16 FAD8. It um, compares the resistance across the top and the bottom and the left and the right. And there's a sensitivity within the code. And if, if the difference between the resistance and the two photoresistors is uh, within that uh, minimum uh, or over that minimum difference, it'll activate the motor or the servo to turn in the correct direction of the light. For the left and right motion of the motor, we used uh, uh, H-Bridge integrated circuit. These LEDs are actually showing that it's getting different instances side to side, and the buzzer is indicating that it's trying to move, and that'll shut off again if you sunlock it. So we've got our up and down movement, and then side to side.